In the world of armored vehicles, few tanks have made as lasting an impact as the AMX-13 light tank. Imagine a vehicle that not only redefined military strategy, but also became a symbol of innovation in post-war France. How did this remarkable tank rise from the ashes of World War II to become a favorite among nations worldwide? In this video, we will uncover the fascinating story of the AMX-13, from its groundbreaking design to its impressive legacy on the battlefield. You won't want to miss how this incredible machine influenced armored warfare and continues to be relevant today. Stay tuned as we dive deep into the history, design, and evolution of the AMX-13 light tank. The AMX-13 light tank was born out of necessity. After World War II, France needed to rebuild its military forces. Years of occupation had left the country in ruins, and the French army sought to modernize its capabilities. As they looked to the future, they realized that a new light tank was essential. In 1946, the design process began at the Atelier de Construction DC Les Moulinots. This endeavor would result in a vehicle that would change the course of military history. The design of the AMX-13 was a reflection of the lessons learned from World War II armored warfare. It featured a classic tracked layout, with five double-tired road wheels on each side, a front-mounted drive sprocket, and a rear-mounted track idler. This traditional configuration provided stability and mobility, allowing the tank to navigate various terrains. Its design was both functional and effective, ensuring that it could perform well in combat. Powering the AMX-13 was a SOFA Model 8 GXB engine, an eight-cylinder water-cooled gasoline engine capable of producing 250 horsepower. This engine allowed the tank to reach a top speed of 37 miles per hour. Picture a swift vehicle, racing across the battlefield, leaving its enemies in awe. With an operational range of 250 miles, the AMX-13 could cover vast distances, making it a valuable asset for any military operation. The tank's suspension system was based on a torsion bar, providing excellent cross-country mobility. This feature was crucial for navigating rough terrains, allowing the AMX-13 to traverse mountains, forests, and open fields with ease. The vehicle's compact design also meant that it could maneuver in tighter spaces, making it a versatile choice for various military strategies. The AMX-13 was manned by a crew of three, the driver, who sat in the front hull, and the commander and gunner, who occupied the turret. An automatic loader was a significant innovation, eliminating the need for a fourth crew member. This allowed for a more compact turret design, making the vehicle more agile. Imagine the efficiency of a crew working in perfect harmony, each member playing a vital role in the tank's operation. One of the most striking features of the AMX-13 was its unique oscillating turret, developed by GIT, now known as Nexter. This turret consisted of two sections that could move independently. This design allowed engineers to mount a heavy main armament on a relatively lightweight chassis. The initial armament was a 75mm main gun, which had its roots in the German L-71 gun used on the Panther medium tank. This powerful weapon enabled the AMX-13 to engage enemy forces effectively. Over time, the AMX-13 underwent upgrades, including a transition to a more formidable 90mm gun in 1966. This evolution showcased the tank's adaptability and its ability to keep pace with modern warfare. The oscillating turret became a signature feature of the AMX-13, setting it apart from other armored vehicles and highlighting its innovative design. Throughout its service life, the AMX-13 saw numerous prototypes and variants developed to explore various operational concepts. These variants allowed military forces to adapt the tank to different roles. From armored personnel carriers to self-propelled guns, the AMX-13 chassis proved to be highly versatile. Its legacy continued to grow, with over a dozen production variants emerging during its lifetime. Some notable variants included the AMX VTT, an armored personnel carrier that transported troops safely into battle, and the AMX-105, a self-propelled gun armed with a 105mm cannon. Each variant served a specific purpose, showcasing the AMX-13's adaptability to various military needs. The AMX-155, a 155mm armed self-propelled gun, added further capabilities to the platform, illustrating how one design could fulfill multiple roles on the battlefield. The AMX-13 also had specialized versions, such as the AMX BDP bridge launcher, which enabled troops to cross obstacles, and the AMX-D, an armored recovery vehicle used to assist damaged tanks. Perhaps one of the most fascinating adaptations was the AMX-DCA, 
which featured dual 30mm Hispano Suiza HS831 cannons for air defense. Each variant told a story of innovation, creativity, and military strategy. The AMX-13 was not only a French invention, it became a symbol of international cooperation. Its operators spanned the globe, with countries like Argentina, Indonesia, Mexico, and Singapore employing this versatile tank. The AMX-13 found its way into the arsenals of various nations, demonstrating its effectiveness and reliability on the battlefield. The French army began retiring the AMX-13 in the 1970s, but its operational history continued well beyond that. Notably, Israeli forces utilized the tank during the 1967 Six-Day War. However, the original 75mm main gun struggled against the more modern Soviet tanks, which had superior armor. Despite this challenge, the AMX-13's design allowed it to hold its own in various conflicts, showcasing its resilience. Some of the Israeli stock was later transferred to Singapore, where approximately 350 modernized examples were put into service. Although these tanks faced retirement as of 2012, their impact on military history was undeniable. The AMX-13's legacy lives on, not just in the tanks themselves, but in the innovations they inspired. As we reflect on the AMX-13's journey from its post-war origins to its role in modern warfare, we see a story of creativity, adaptation, and success. The design choices made by its engineers were not only groundbreaking, but also set a standard for future armored vehicles. The oscillating turret, powerful armament, and versatile chassis combined to create a tank that could meet the demands of a changing battlefield. The AMX-13 reminds us of the importance of innovation in military design. Just as the world has evolved, so too have the requirements for armored vehicles. The AMX-13's ability to adapt to various roles and its success in numerous conflicts serve as a testament to the creativity and foresight of its designers. Its influence is felt even today, as military forces around the world continue to seek new solutions for modern warfare. In conclusion, the AMX-13 light tank represents more than just a military vehicle. It symbolizes the resilience of a nation and the spirit of innovation. As we explore the stories behind such remarkable machines, we are reminded of the impact they have on history and the importance of learning from the past. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of the AMX-13 light tank. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more fascinating stories about military history and innovations. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below to share your thoughts on the AMX-13 or any other topics you'd like us to explore. Your support means the world to us, and together we can continue to uncover the hidden stories of history.